com I mean sneaker con um you know is that still because sneaker con whenever I think of of this industry especially the the reselling I think of you know they, they were the first that I know of or or they're the most popular that I have ever known of are they still viable in this industry? If if I'm somebody who, you know, I might not be like you and own 600 pairs, but if I, you know, I want to make good money. I, I want to make some money. Do, do, do I still invest in the sneaker cons of the world? Or is it, Sean, you might as well just save your money and, and, and do what you do online. Let me ask you a question. If you can make the, the, the same amount of money hanging out in your home that you can go and drive in, Stacking a bunch of sneakers, throwing them in your car, putting it on the table. What you gonna do? Point taken. Point taken. Okay, so so is that business model, in your opinion, nearing the end of the road? I will say this, but for people that love this culture and want to be out there and you know meet people and talk and. And and um and and do business outside of it, then it 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 is something valuable s- still to an extent. Like me, I don't want to go to no sneaker con where there's billions of people right now. COVID too. I'm tr- I'm not trying to be out there right now like that. But like, it, it is valuable to an extent. But me, if if I was just doing the resale tip, why would I leave my home? Like, why would I even do that? Like, time is money. We all know this, right? So why are we going to go out and do all of that when you can make the same amount of money at home? I mean, look, you can even have people pick up the packages if you got to ship some out. You don't even got to leave your crib ever. So, Wow. Uh, you know, when I think of, again, the culture, I think young, I think male. Th- that's what I think. It's, it's, it's a heavy male. Di- and you know what I love about this sneaker culture? It is, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it doesn't seem like the same prejudices, uh, the same uh, bigotry or anything that that we experience in the regular world exists here. It Mm. seems like everybody in this world, it doesn't matter if you're Asian, if you're black, you're Hispanic, you're white. If you're into sneakers and into this world, it's you're kind of a, a, a race or a creed of your own. Do, do I yes. have that? Hundred percent. It's like a cult. It's like a, it's like your own 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 wave. You know, it's a it's a beautiful thing. And I never really even thought of it like that. But it it it's really people that love sneakers love to talk to other people that love sneakers. That's just what it comes down to. And that's how come my show has been has done so well. I mean, I've had the show for a long time. People love to hear people talk about shoes all day. They're obsessed with them. I mean, look, I, I mean, I, I can't ever imagine not being into kicks. It's just part of my life, you know? So I could go on a stream and talk about it for two hours in the morning, do a morning show. We talk about other stuff, too, on my show. You know, current events. It's not just sneakers for two hours. That would be boring as hell. For uh, wait, I have a lot of casual people that don't even really care about shoes. They just want to hear about you know, what's going on with music and, and all and movies and stuff like that. We talk about all types of stuff. I usually have a couple of co-hosts on. on how, the how, how big is, you know, because again, I think of young males. Yeah. Is, is, is the female population growing within this? Country? Oh, yeah. The, the ladies are, are rapping. They're doing their thing, the girls. They really? are. Oh, yeah. They definitely are. The females are out there. It, it's the men I feel are out there more, but the women, there is definitely a big women's um, following with sneakers, like quote unquote, be a sneaker head or whatever they want to label themselves as, as far as people that are fans of shoes. Um, but the women are definitely doing their thing. They definitely are. But when you go to these sneaker cons, it's flooded with a lot of guys all the time. You have you ever been to sneaker con? I've been to sneaker con, and that's what made me ask. Like, you know, I, so what was your impression of sneaker con? I don't mean to flip it out on you, but what what, what was your impression? I went, I, I've gone to several sneaker cons, and I've gone years ago. Um, mm-hmm. in in I enjoyed it. Um, good experience, but I'm not somebody who's going to spend, you know, thousands of dollars 
on the most rare of rare sneakers. That just doesn't excite me. Um, yeah. But I understand that there's this huge market for it. Definitely. Uh, in terms of, you know, we, you know, I, I see sometimes on um, complex, you know, it's sneaker shopping with such and such. Mm-hmm. You know, this is no longer. And it hasn't been for a while to where it's just this group of uh, outcasts or a group of people who are just in. You have some of the biggest celebrities in the world who are just sneaker fanatics, in your opinion. But but that show, they they, they sprinkle a lot of sugar on it. I think some of them guys, they're not really big sneaker people. Some of the actors on there and, and political figures. I think that the complex sneaker shopping has has gone very commercial throughout the years. It used to be a lot better. Used to okay, be better. but it, it's still to but, my but it's still commercialized because I think that that people are using a lot of people use sneakers because of the popularity as as a, a way of pushing out some sort of content in itself. You know, I mean, let's be real here. You know, so if they have a, if they're able to get, for example, Camilla, what's the Camilla Harris, our vice president. She's not a sneakerhead, but they put her on there. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like certain people, I mean, and she's awesome. I'm not, I'm not I don't know. No, no, because, but... because I want to go somewhere with this. Yeah. In your opinion, who are genuine, genuine sneakerheads? That are celebs? That are celebs. That, that Current, you currency yeah. that I've seen, currency, Wale, and of course, Joey, Joey Crack. You know, there, there's a ton of, of celebrities. Jada Kiss is huge in the sneakers. I don't think he's been on sneaky shopping. He's got a, he's got, him and Styles got a really good collection, especially Styles got a lot of nice SBs. So, mm-hmm. you know, there's the, a 50s been on there, but 50s not a sneaker head, you know, but you see, like, I want to see sneaker heads on, there, you know, or actors that are into sneakers too. You know, I noticed you didn't mention uh, DJ Clark Kent. And when mm. I think of a uh, true... Of course, of course. So DJ Clark Kent is one of the one of the illest. Uh, DJ Greg Street. Another one. Another one. Greg Street, out of control. He's been on my show twice. Love Greg Street. Shout out to Greg. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Kanye West for a second. Mm-hmm. How does somebody like a Kanye... Because Kanye, he's the real deal now. Like, like his his Yeezys, there is a demand. Yes. Uh, he has truly infiltrated this space. He's not a blip on a radar anymore. No. Nobody's laughing at Kanye when it comes to this sneaker thing. How does a person like him infiltrate this marketplace in a real way? Because... Yeah, we can see people who have one shoe. Um, and, and, and it might sell and it might be huge demand, but he is a brand. If mm-hmm. somebody else, uh, just from your opinion, if another celebrity, if 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 another, you know, there are sports figures that that haven't infiltrated the market like him. How did how did he do it in your opinion? And what could somebody else do to 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 get a market share in the way that he did and become a brand. I think with Kanye, it has to do with his music, his style, and and the big thing, passion and drive. And you, you can see the passion. When he speaks, he really has a lot of passion with everything. So when you when you see someone that looks like they're pouring their, ha- their heart out to you, it kind of makes you really believe what whatever they're going to put out is going to be fire. And I think what he does put out is amazing. Like I, lo- I love the shoes he puts out. From with a Nike, from with Nike to Adidas, um, they're awesome, you know. So, okay, but you're talking to someone who's a huge fan of Kanye. I mean, I mean, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily answer the the the, the question. I, I'm just yeah. Is it, did, in your opinion, is it part celebrity, part passion? Is it all pat? You know, because I, it, it's definitely celebrity. I mean, because Travis Scott is like at the point where he's he's on a level of Kanye West now. I mean, he's putting out 
clothing line, a clothing line that's constantly selling out. He, he's he damn well put out a McDonald's clothing line and it sold out. I mean, for you to put out a T-shirt with McDonald's, I know I'm not wearing no chicken nugget T-shirts, you know, and I love his music, but people are buying this stuff. That says a lot. He's selling, he was selling $100 chicken nugget pillows with Travis Scott on it, and McDonald's chicken nugget, selling out. That's when you know you have power, you, when you're drawing that influence. And Kanye West has always been like that. He's the next one. He's the next guy, or if not already, to, to have that kind of draw. But Kanye, people people believe in what Kanye is putting out as far as fashion. Um, they always have. And Kanye West, you know, he's a loose cannon. He says a lot of crazy shit at times where some people are offended by it. Some people are. But no, people no. still don't care. People still buying his, his stuff. That means a lot too, man. Because I see people, ah, I can't stand Kanye. He said this, he said that, but they buying all of his Yeezys. That's when you know you really pop. And when you can, you can say whatever, you can literally upset people, and people still buying your shit too, man. What's worth more, the the Nike Yeezys or Adidas? Nike by far. By far. Not even close. Really. Not even close. So I get my hand on some Nike Yeezys. I, you're eating. I, you're gonna you're gonna have a nice meal. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.